write the formula for copper 2 phosphate. We go to the periodic table, look up copper. The element symbol is Cu. Phosphate, that ends in A-T-E, so this is a polyatomic ion. And you either need to have this memorized or look it up on a table of common polyatomic ions. Either way, it's PO4, 3 minus. Copper is a metal, and the phosphate, that's made up of a group of nonmetals. So this is ionic, and we need to think about these ionic charges when we write the formula for copper 2 phosphate. We have some help here. Copper 2, this Roman numeral 2, tells us the charge on the copper is 2 plus. And we know the charge on the phosphate is 3 minus. So these should add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0, and they don't right now. So what we can do is use something called the crisscross method to figure this out, to change these subscripts. We could put a 3 down here and move the 2 out here. Get rid of these. And then we do need to put parentheses around this phosphate. We have two of them. It's a polyatomic ion there. So let's put parentheses around the phosphate. And this is the formula for copper 2 phosphate. Let's check our work, make sure we got that right though. We said copper had a 2 plus charge because of that Roman numeral. And the phosphate we looked at up, that was 3 minus. So I have two phosphate ions. Each one's 3 minus. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. I have three coppers, three times the two plus, six plus. So six plus and six minus, that adds up to zero. It gives us a net charge of zero. This is the correct formula for copper two phosphate. Let's clean it up. And that's it, copper two phosphate, Cu3PO4-2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.